You can see them too? Hell, of course I see them. Come on, we gotta move. Why? <laughs> because that's the way the story goes. Yeah, but... Let's move! I lost my gun back there. Oh, I've got a gun. Just keep that light steady on him. It took a moment, but then I recognized him. He'd been on the ferry when I first arrived here with Alice. He knew my name. We were headed in the direction of Lover's Peak. There was no way this was a coincidence. He was the kidnapper. Come on, Wake. You better keep up. You set him up, and I'll knock him down, Wake. Hey, everybody. Chris Farad here. Welcome back to Alan Wake. Now, this guy, he was the guy who's kind of given us lip on the ferry at the very beginning. And now it turns out he is the kidnapper, which is great because we're just going to follow him. And things will work out fine, I'm sure. Uh, you guys pointed out earlier as well that there were some voiced pages or some pages that were read by a different voice a while back. And you guys had made reference to that being a voice actor in Max Payne. Uh, a game that I've never played, so I didn't really catch the reference. But I like that when developers do things like that. I think it's cool. Whoa. Oh god, that was a thing. Okay, you put him down there, kidnapper. Nice. Not bad. Okay, I can get used to this. There's another one. Take him. Oh, oh shit! Oh, get! Ah, the dodging. Oh, see, I don't have... Oh, I see. Oh, look at that. Okay, okay. I was thinking the flares would be like the flare gun. But that's interesting. So that'll stop a group of them, I think. And I keep trying to get the dodge down, but I can't. I just can't quite nail it sometimes. Oh. Okay, flares out. Back up off me. Come on, kidnapper. Whoa. All right, that'll do. Lover's Peak, right up these stairs, Wake. Use the flares from the emergency box to hold them off while I get these boards off. Give me the gun. Yeah, <laughs> no can do, Wake. Are you kidding? Give me the gun! Oh, damn it. No, no. Uh... No time for back talk. Pull them off, damn it. Okay. A little longer. Scare them off. Get away from here. Get some light on those bastards. That'll keep them off us. I hope they don't toss an axe through here, because just, just as much as they're staying away, I can't see anything. It. Oh. Okay. Whoa, oh, behind me! Hello. I'm out of here. Okay, this is better. I don't like that I don't have control of the gun. Oh, you feeling better now, Wake? All cozy and safe. Well, better get ready. Not exactly. Be soon. Let's just get to the light. Did I see? No. Oh, there was something flashing. Wake, a last stand. There's more flares here. Get ready. We fight them as long as they keep coming. Give me the goddamn gun. They're coming. That's not how this goes. Get with the program, Wake. Oh no. We're get. We're Hear that? being swirled Wake. again. Back up. Back away.
dodge right into it. Well, how many? Do I have to get, like, right into them to, like... Oh, oh, oh. This is not good. Oh, that guy felt that. Oh. Come on, let's get in their faces here. No! Yeah, I thought you'd like that. I think I do, I do have to get a lot closer. Uh oh. So I can either just drop it. Whoa! Thank you. before they get here, please. Whoa! Okay, I'm not messing around with batteries or anything. Whoa. And I'm out of flares. Oh my god, this guy's gonna destroy me. This is bad. Damn it. There's more flares here. Oh, come Get on. Ready. We fight them as long as they keep coming. Give me the goddamn gun. They're coming. That's not how this goes. So I guess I got to balance this out better because I basically just use all of my flares when I should have saved them. Like these guys, I'll just use my regular light on. Like that boy. Or not. Oh, Jesus. And I, you guys were telling me that I should probably not uh, drain the flashlight all the way because it will then regenerate. But if they're in my face. All right, so this is good so far. Now, I'll use a flare here. Whoa! A little bit earlier next time, please. Come on. Okay, now that big guy's at the end. Take him down. That's right. Scream, God damn it. That's right. You just keep coming. I'm not messing around here. I'll blow all of them if I have to on him. Okay, bring him closer. Bring him in. Bring him in. Oh yeah, nothing to it. Yeah, that worked. That was so smooth. Let's cut the act now. Where's my wife? I knew you were gonna say that. I read it all before. You're a hell of a writer. Congratulations. 
You're gonna bring about something glorious and terrible once we get you some uh, proper editorial control. What the hell are you talking about? Where's Alice? I want the entire manuscript, or she's gonna suffer bad. You touch her all. <laughs> Yeah, you better run. You're gonna give me the manuscript or you'll be sorry! No! Come back here! I swear I'll kill you if you hurt Alice! Do you hear me? Come back here! This is not a good place for a page. On more than one occasion, Alice had tried to explain to me how it felt to be afraid of the dark. To her, darkness wasn't simply the absence of light, but something more tangible than that. It was something you could touch and feel. Worse than that, it was something with a mind of its own, something malicious and malign. For her, things changed when they were wrapped in darkness. They turned into something else, something foreign, and nothing was safe or innocent anymore. I'd never really understood what she meant until now. Okay. He had Alice. And he wanted the manuscript because he thought it held some magical power. But I had no manuscript to give him. I had to get back to Barry and figure out my next move. We can give him everything we found so far. But I guess he said something about he's already read it. Or he already knows like a certain portion because that's what the story... That's how the story goes or something is what he said earlier. So... Oh man... Oh! What the hell? I try not to. Ah. <laughs> uh. Oh, this is bad. I thought maybe I could disarm it. All right, let's see if there's anything back here then. Make it through the woods. Yeah, that's easier said than done. Are they all going to be shiny? Yep, looks like it. Oh, I see them. I thought I saw them. Look at these freaking traps. They're everywhere. Ah! Oh! Now, oh, hello. Sarah didn't care about the legal threats Wake's agent had made. She let Wake go without argument because there was something about him she couldn't quite put her finger on, something that reminded her of her father. She didn't think Wake would hurt his wife. What? Then she thought about the way he waded into Hartman, that hair trigger rage flaring up without warning. Okay, well, only one bear trap. That could have been worse. And it might still be, I may have spoken too soon. What? Whoa! Flare, flare, flare! Back up off me. Back up off me. Come on. Oh, that was a quick dodge. Ooh. 
That was intense. Okay, now that this fog is here, let's get a move on. Oh, damn it! The hell? Yeah, exactly what the hell. Oh, it's like I want to get through this fog, but... Like, I really... I have this... OCD, like, I need to find these pages. Because that's telling me, like, this, what I need to know. So, I mean... It's a balance, but... I also gotta find my wife, like, yesterday. Oh yeah, that's great. Come here, come here. That'll do. Is the fog? No, oh, no, fog is still here. I don't think so. Oh, this is bad. Uh oh, uh oh, uh oh. <laughs> Wow. Okay, is there anything going on back here? Those guys are the worst that just keep walking towards you no matter how many bullets you put in them. It's like calm here, it's weird. Yeah, I see a manuscript page, but... The night had been one desperate situation after another. I was exhausted, and my body felt as though it had been chewed up and spat out. The flashlight was heavy in my hand, and each pull of the trigger sent a painful shock up my arm. But I was finally out of the woods, and things were looking up. That's when I heard the chainsaw. Aww. Oh, I don't like that. Ooh, I like that, though. We'll go back to the pistol and we'll save that because I'm sure that it's going to come in handy. Perhaps against Mr. Chainsaw. I had heard the plane fall. It oh, made that's no what sense. that was. It was clear that it had just fallen here, but it was very old and obviously hadn't flown in decades. Looking at it sent a shiver down my side. What? Okay. There's a cache here somewhere. Unless this thing falls on me, of course. What's that doing? What? Uh Okay. Okay, this way. Where are these things taking me? I don't get it. And I have no clue what the hell those are. Are there more?
apparently. Okay, we're in the right direction. But I wonder what those things are that we're burning off of there. Very nice. Oh, this is probably a terrible idea. Whoa! Oh god. Okay. Well, I'm not exactly sure... ...what was happening with that plane, but... Let's make more noise, shall we? Oh yeah! Dodging! <laughs> Run! Okay, it's flare time. Back up off me. Get this going, come on. Nice. Ooh, okay. So make those a priority. <laughs> okay, I see a thermos there. We've got the fog again. Just not- that feeling of not knowing what the hell is gonna come in front of you, or worse, Come up from behind you is like. Oh, 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 oh. Like that! Okay. Nope. Nope. 